Welcome back to Louder with Crowder. I'm your host, Steven Crowder. And I'm Gay Jared. And today, uh, we got a fun little episode for all you guys. Episode 48. We have everything planned. We This isn't just us coming back from going home to take like an hour nap and then coming back to record a podcast. That's not at all what this is. No, we have it all planned out, man. It's, it's 100% to the T, on the list, doing the twist. We got it. <laughs> down <laughs> doing the twist drinking sierra mist this podcast is <laughs> that's how you know you're a you're a podcast host or a radio host you just you, you rhyme and you're you're, you're rhyming slick. all the time <laughs> dude you know what they changed the name of sierra mist to mist twist unless that's just a completely different drink and they killed sierra mist i thought i think sierra mist still a thing i still see it on like soda pop fountains soda pop fountains. i know it sounds weird i, I thought i would try it that's not what we call it. <laughs> I just thought I would try it. <laughs> I did. I was like, let's see if it sounds like... What is what making that noise? That? I heard it twice. That is sounded there... like a rat screeching. That's, that's what I thought the first time. It sounds the first... like a rat. Yeah, there's like a... What should was I, that? Should I go over there and... Yeah. Okay. I'm actually... I'm still... Was that a... Hold on. Let me check. Was, there was, something that was... was that a rat? Is there a rat giving birth? <laughs> Dude, if there's a rat giving birth, that'd be awesome. Sorry, we're back from that. There's just a weird noise sounded like from the corner of the room. Was that it again? I didn't hear it. Okay, well, there was a weird noise. It sounded like a rat crying out in pain or something uh, from behind the, the TV that's in the yeah. room. So, yeah. But anyway, Ryan was, was talking about soda pop. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's um, good stuff. I got back on it. I should stop because I'm gaining weight faster than, than uh, Jeff Gordon's. Yes. That's it. Oh, just just faster than Jeff Gordon. I thought you had some good. Nah. Uh, I was waiting for a classic that's Ryan a, McGee Supreme. That's God a, damn it! I'm sorry, dude. It's every fucking podcast. My phone does every fucking one. My my, my phone. <laughs> like you think you'd learn your goddamn lesson? Do you plan this? <laughs> no. Oh, let me let me let me set a is five it, minute timer into the podcast. Where my phone goes off. Said, Mom, text me in ten minutes. Okay. <laughs> I want to annoy I want, Ryan. I want it to become a thing. I'm putting Ryan through a little uh, experiment because I'm a sociopath and I like to test people that mm. I call my friend. Me making my phone go off makes me a sociopath? Yeah. That No, I didn't confess. I'm not making my phone go off, but my phone goes off. That doesn't make me a phone. My phone goes off. My phone go off. <laughs> Dude, you picked it up. I'm proud of you. Of course I picked it up. We did a we did a whole series where the, every other joke was based on that. <laughs> My gun go series. Off. Hey, if we haven't bumped that series enough, uh, go check it out. Uh, Blood on the Sand. It's the 50 Cent Game with Ding Dong and Julian. Really good one. Right now we're actually doing another series with them. Uh, Katamari and the Great Love Seed. Uh, you can go watch that as soon as possible right now. Man. Stop watching the podcast. Don't. Well, you could, I guess. Well, I actually don't. I live I for know. I live for these little these Ryanisms you come up with. It's 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 when you let me go on and you don't you don't stop me. I love I love that. <laughs> you'll, you'll be going on, you'll be rambling. I just don't interject. I just keep you going because you don't want to be awkward. Keep me and going. Quiet. You see, you make it sound like you're like this mastermind just looking on this fucking pathetic lab experiment. <laughs> that's 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 why you're a sociopath. How? Why do you? <laughs> this is the third time you've called me a sociopath this week. You know, you're trying to make me feel guilty. You're Did you just learn that me. word? You're gaslighting me, dude. I'm not gaslighting you. You're gaslighting me by making me think that I'm a sociopath. Okay. At every at every twist and turn. Okay. And just like that, I said the word twist, which ties it back to the opening of the podcast. Full circle. Good so, job. Good job. Guys, thank you so much for listening to this podcast. It's been episode 48, and we'll uh, we'll see you next week. Dude, what a weird coincidence. This is seriously freaking me out right now. Okay. So, while we were freaking out about that... That's it, the sound right there. That sound. While we were freaking it's out about... It's definitely electrical, now that I'm listening to it. Yeah, but while we were freaking out about the sound that we were said sounds like a rat... Mm -hmm. Then my phone went off. It was a picture of my mom holding up a dead rat what? from a mouse Why trap. mom holding up a From dead a mouse trap. Does she look happy? Is it like... Is it like someone who just caught a buck or like one of those people that like goes out and shoots African wildlife and like holds it up as a trophy? Yeah, it kind of looks like it, mom. <laughs> Can I see it? <laughs> yeah, she's, she's, she's smiling. So, she's really fucking proud she's of proud that. She's proud of that. But no, isn't that weird though? Like, 
as we're talking about the rat sound, my phone goes off and it's and it's the fuck it's my mom with a rat that she killed. Speaking of killing things, <laughs> uh, we're actually gonna kill this podcast, guys. So thank you so much for listening. We'll see you next week. Have a great day. God bless. Psych, gotcha. Gotcha again, guys. <laughs> Did it, did it again. <laughs> Oops, I did it again, as Brittany said. So I was reading this thing recently about uh, this guy who just basically traveled around the world for free on cargo ships. Yeah. Because apparently you can just get a, like a, you, apparently you can travel on cargo ships. They, if some, if they have open rooms, you can pay them like a couple hundred or something and they'll let you no ride on the cargo ship in a little. Will they? If you that pay, be- yeah. I would love to do that once just to see how it was. And apparently you got to do like a little bit of deck work, but not anything hard. Well, that's what this guy said, but that's crazy because... Because, okay, I was about to say that's crazy because like I was reading this article about this guy that traveled the world in 80 days. So that's pretty cool. Keep it together, Ryan. <laughs> Keep that composure. <laughs> You're laughing at your own joke over there. <laughs> That was the lamest joke I, <laughs> I I love stoop I love stupid bad jokes. I think the best part of that was the crux of the joke was you just you changed what I said to just make it just the title of Around the World in 80 Days. Of the, of and you hip, couldn't keep it together. Of the Jackie Chan one. Of the good one. It was Jackie Chan. Yeah. yeah. And then like you couldn't keep it together. You know that you know that he was in Around the World in 30 days. 80 days. 80 days. Yes, I do. Okay. okay. <laughs> 30 days? I always forget shit, like, the moment after I say it. Well, nowadays, you can go around the world in two days, probably. Nah. Oh, it, it can't take that long to fly around the world. True. I mean, it, it took you, what, like, 13 hours? Or Nine was... hours to fly from Tokyo to L.A. So, yeah, you, I mean, you'd be cutting it close. But if you had a one-way ticket around the world... That would suck. Oh my god. I, I mean, I would probably do it. Why just would you do to, it? Just to Because that's it? cool. It's like, wow, I flew all the way around the globe. Yeah, but who cares? What, what do you take pictures of? Nothing. You'll be up in the sky. No, you probably would see some cool stuff. We, oh, for all you know, they could be like flying the plane up and going in circles and then it's like, oh, here it's, you go. And say, wow, there's the beautiful arid deserts of Mongolia. You'd be so high up, you wouldn't see that shit. I know, I'd tell them to fly it lower. <laughs> hey, could you please fly lower, please? I'd say, yo, Cap, fly, fly this shit lower. And he'd go, all right, dog. And he'd fly the plane a little bit lower. And I'd say, yo, Cap, it's a little too low for my comfort. And he'd say, nah, this is just right. And yo, Cap, could you please slow the plane down? I'm about to throw up. <laughs> imagine, imagine ringing the flight attendant thing and be like, can you ask the pilot to slow the plane down? I'm getting a little airsick. I'm about to fucking barf, dude. I'm about to lose my lunch. Can you slow the plane down? Oh, I'm going to hurl. I think hurl is my favorite synonym for vomit. I like toe jam. Get it? <laughs> Toe jam and hurl. I don't, I don't know who that is. <laughs> what? I don't know what that is. What do you mean you don't know what that is? I don't know what that is. Who's that? Toe jam and hurl? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Do you really not know what toe jam and hurl is? Or... No, I don't. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Are you Ryan McGee me right now? Or are you fully What's going serious? on? Is he a famous film director? Like Toe Steven? jam and hurl? Yeah, it's one person <laughs> that's a famous film director. <laughs> who is he? Ding Dong has him. He has a, a shirt or a hoodie or something. Wears him all the time. And? That's them. I'm gonna look it up. Maybe. You know Toe Jam and Earl. Do I? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. What is that sound, dude? It's a mechan- It's a little electric wire. Is there a rat trapped in the PlayStation 1? These people? Yeah. I don't know them. You don't know them? No, they look freaky. Ah, we should play it on the channel then. They look like they're from Osmosis Jones. Yeah, we should play it on the channel. Okay. I think. If you guys want to see that, <laughs> let us know. Um, <laughs> sorry, nice. I, got a, I got a weird feeling in my throat. Nice. Um, bringing it back though, I think working on a container ship would be, I don't know, I feel like if I got super depressed and I, w- I was ready to just, like, be done with life, I'd just be like, you know what, I'm gonna change and I'm just gonna go get on a, con- a cargo ship and I'm live for go, a couple I'm weeks. I'm gonna go change into a new outfit, I'm gonna... I'm trying to, you know, <clears throat> talk about my emotions, about, you know, my depression, and here you are making a big yeah, joke Yeah, but it's YouTube, it. they don't care about your real emotions, they want that fake shit! Alright, well, get on it! <sighs> <sighs> Guys, we're nearing 250,000 subscribers. <laughs> and I'm leaving Smosh. I'm not going to lie. When I saw that Smosh was breaking up, it hit this weird, like... I know, dude. Like, string of my heart. Because it one of the, I think, yeah, the first video I saw on YouTube was the Pokemon theme song thing, which, of course, got taken down. Yeah, and that was the first video to hit a million views, I think, wasn't it? I have no idea. 
And I, I don't know, like Smosh, back when I was in fifth grade, uh, was when they were first starting out, I think. And I was, and I was, I would, my friend showed them to me. There's that sound again. My friend showed them to me. Uh, and and we'd watch. I'd go sleep over at his house. We'd watch Smosh all night. And they they I mean, they only had like a hundred videos or something at a time, mm-hmm. which I mean, I still a lot of videos. Was but, this around the same like Shane Dawson phase of yours? But uh, you know, they they kind of what made me start making videos in the first place because I saw these guys doing this sketch comedy and I was like, oh, you can do that. So I asked, I got a video camera and I tried to do it myself and it was, oh, it was real bad. That was the same for me. Like I was like, ah, how come? That, what cameras do they use? What do they use? What editing software? How do I get effects like that? And of course, looking back, they're all horrible effects. And cameras. Yeah. But for back then, it yeah, was, I was like, like, what? You know, everyone's carrying around a Nokia phone that takes like... I remember like first hearing about how they like lived in a house or something together and they would just film around there. I was like, what? That would be cool. I'd love to have my own place and film sketches. But I just started making videos where I'd jump off a porch and then reverse it so it looked like I was jumping on it. Okay, now that's badass, dude. Give me a high five. Then, I, then I'd use LS Maker and make some lightsaber duels, Okay, dude. what are we doing making Let's Plays in a podcast? Then I'd face my arch nemesis by putting them in and keying them in through Pivot Stick Figure Maker. Oh, dude, Pivot. Now you're speaking my language. I know, right? What, what, what are we doing doing this podcast? It's- it's, it's stupid. <laughs> why? Why don't we? Why don't we go back to making that stuff? Let's make videos of you jumping off a porch in reverse. Make Halo Three Machinima. Yes, yes, dude. Let's do it. That's where the money is. Okay, I'm down. Halo well, Three Machinima. Ryan going off a porch backwards. Hey guys, we're here to announce that uh, uh, Deus Ex Machina uh, season, uh, the new season is being made by Matt and I. It's mm-hmm. gonna come out uh, next winter. Make sure to keep your eyes peeled. Not only that, but included in the special box set, we're going to include uh, an Arby and Chief Christmas special. So we're bringing all of that back. Uh, so yeah, that's cool. The, the saying, keep your eyes peeled, makes me cringe every time, simply because of that SpongeBob episode where he like peels his eyes off when he says, keep your eyes peeled, and he just <laughs> whoosh. And like, every time I, say, I hear, keep your eyes peeled, I imagine peeling my eye like that. Just like jitter a cheese grater on your eye. Ryan, <laughs> you just made everyone listening stop. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Why'd you put that image in my... I, I guarantee so many people are doing the same thing as me right now. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, like, fuck, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. I almost want to not put people through the pain of hearing that. No, it's fine. Uh, I'll, no, I'll leave it in. I'll it's leave fine. it in. Let, let, <laughs> let, let Ryan know how you feel about that one in the comments. <laughs> Dude, oh. They, they, there's gonna be a lot of comments that are like, Matt, you're a little bitch. There's probably gonna be some calling me a little bitch. Yeah. I was gonna say, let's come up with more visceral things like that, but then I decided that is not a good way to keep people listening to the podcast. But what were we talking about? I don't know, that thing, that fucking squeaking noise keeps resetting my brain. I know! Every time I hear it, I like, lo- I'm like I go, what? And then I, then I have to work my way back to the conversation. Ryan, we haven't had one coherent conversation on this podcast This is gonna yet. be just, can we just call this one the fever dream? Sure. Because it's just a bunch of fucking nonsense. It, it's like we start to have a conversation and then that noise happens and it derails my train of thought and sends me somewhere else. It's, uh, it's making me crazy, dude. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Okay, where is it coming from? I don't know. Can we figure out where it's coming from? If I had to guess, it looks like it's coming from the original Xbox, like that area. I Yeah, it's like coming over right there. Like, okay. okay. So I'm going to go sit over there and wait for okay, it. Okay, yeah, go sit over there. Turn your mic towards yourself. Here. Yeah, you gotta speak. You gotta speak, I'll speak loud, a though. Louder. Speak a little louder. A little louder with Crowder. But something down here. What is, is it? The look at wait next to you, next to you, with the orange light on it. This. No, no, no. To the right, uh, to the left. The thing with the orange light. I was, th- I was thinking like it's either that or this. Hold on. What the hell is it? Hold on. Wait. It's gotta be this. The Genesis CDX. It's the Genesis CDX doing it. Because there's a disc spinning in there. That's it then. It's probably scratching the disc. You know what? Just leave it. If it happens, we'll, we can deal with the sound, okay? We'll deal with it, Ryan. We'll deal with it. All right. Sorry, guys. We're back. You know, we had to assess the situation. It's getting hotter. This, we have like 10 conversations every two minutes. But guys, you know what? That's, that's what? that's what you're paying for. That's what you like. What are they paying for? They're paying for nothing. This is free. It's not free, Ryan. They got to pay for internet. No, their parents pay for their internet. So you're assuming all of our listeners are children that live with their parents? I, I, okay, honestly, I, I think we do have 
somewhat of a mature fan base. I think if I had to personify, I, I feel like probably 90% of the people that recognize um, us or either one of us when we're out, I'd say it would probably have to be like just a carbon copy of Jared Fogel. <laughs> yep. I always get handshakes from them. Jared is always coming up to me in public and saying like, hey, Matt from Super Mega, right? And I'm like, yeah, you're, you're Jared. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> nice save, man. Just stop. These stupid lamps. Anyways, yeah. sorry, I, I, I almost knocked, knocked over a lamp. Yeah, I almost knocked over a lamp. In the middle of my story about meeting Jared Fogel. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Continue, continue. Anyway, Jared's always coming up to me. I see probably two or three of him a day. <laughs> two or three Jareds a day. They're everywhere now, dude. Hey, are, are you, uh, are you Mad Watson? Yes, I am, from Super oh, Mega. Okay, uh, look, uh, I was just, uh, walking by and I noticed you and I, I couldn't, um, I couldn't believe it. I mean, I really, I really like Super Mega. I really well, thanks, enjoy man. your content. Thank you, that really means a lot. Glad uh, you like it. Uh, would you, uh, would you want to take a picture? Uh, yeah, of course. Okay. Here, let's, uh, here, I'll, I'll get over here. Let's oh. get in. Okay. Sorry, I was Ready? just, I was just, uh, jogging, so that's why I'm all... That's fine, man. So I'm all... Here. Ready? Sorry if I smell. It's okay. Here, I'll take the picture. I got a longer arm. No, no, no. I want to... Sure? Okay. All right, ready? Yeah. All right. No, that one's a little too blurry. You want another one? Yeah, Yeah, let's do another one. Okay. Uh, hold... Mm. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Okay. That's good. That one's good. Thank you so much. Hey, um, uh, if you ever need anything, just, uh, or anyone, just give me a call. Yeah. Sure, man. Uh, hey, nice to meet you. Uh, what's your name again? Uh, Jared. Jared, yeah, man. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, I know you work for the uh, Game Grumps. Yeah, I do. So I mean, if I, I never thought that I'd meet someone that uh, could open doors uh, for me in other ways, but uh, if you ever need like another editor yeah. or something, oh man, uh, I, th- I think we're good. But thanks for the offer, man. That that really means uh, a lot that you would. Yeah. Okay. Uh, bye, Matt. I right, see, you, man. Have a good day. Yes. <laughs> That's a that uh, part of that was based on a legit conversation I had while I was walking. Through the mall, uh, this kid came up to me, and he asked me, he's like, wait, you edit for Game Grumps, right? I'm like, yeah. So you know Danny and Aaron? I'm like, yeah. Oh my god. I just, I never, I never would have imagined meeting someone who had all these connections. Um, do y'all need any new, like, editors or something? He's like, <laughs> uh, no. Aaron, I, yeah, I got a new editor. He's gonna be great. <laughs> I met him at the mall. Yeah. Is that Aaron? Yeah. Is Aaron's voice now? Yeah. Okay! <laughs> it's me, Aaron Hanson! I wish Aaron talked like Ooh. that. Like, what if Aaron had a minor stroke and then his voice was that forever? I would love that. <laughs> if my boss had a stroke, the man paying my paycheck had a stroke, that'd be so funny. <laughs> that'd be hilarious. Mm. God, Aaron. Aaron, our man! Aaron Handelson. Ha <laughs> ha! Aaron, you know, I know you listen to every single episode of this podcast because you always come up to me and you're always telling me how much you love the Super Mega Cast. You love Super Mega Cast. He's wearing the shirt that's not out yet. He's wearing all sorts of cool He's wearing our too. snapback. Aaron's always coming up to us in the morning when we're sitting at our desk at work, and he goes, guys, I just want to let you know, I listened to the new episode of the Super Mega Cast podcast on iTunes and on YouTube, um, and it was really something else, and I really had a great time listening to it. But I would really like it if you guys could put it on SoundCloud or... Uh, or uh... How can I listen to it on Android, even though it's been on, uh, you know, Google Play Music or whatever it's called ever since the beginning, and it's already available on Android, so you can, you know, please keep asking us the same question that already has an answer to it. But uh, some of your episodes are uploaded uh, not on time. Usually, like, sometimes a day or two late to iTunes. Sometimes, honestly, like a week or so. And, you know, even though I know you guys get no benefit out of putting on iTunes because you make no money from putting on iTunes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wouldn't it become about money? It, it's, Aaron, it's not, it's not Aaron, all what, about Aaron, money. What are you talking about? Dude, it's, it's not about money. Jesus Christ, Aaron. Yeah, I know. I just love money, and uh, I am gay. And seen. Oh, hey, boys. I, oh. No, no, no. We're we, not bringing Brent into this we one. We playing no. around? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I knew that Brent would naturally end up in that scene as soon as we started talking about money and gayness. <laughs> I'm sorry, Brent. I know you have the power to fire me from my job. It's all in good taste. I'm the one deciding it's in good taste. So, <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, it's all good. What if, like... Aaron actually listens to this one episode and goes, yeah, that joke about the money, uh, what the fuck was that about? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see Aaron acting like that, just I imagine. I know. We're, you know, we're at our desk editing, and he's like, hey guys, come here, we gotta talk. And he, like, takes us into the back room, and he's like, 
So uh, he makes sure like the heat is blowing instead of the AC, <laughs> as hot as it can be. So we're just drenched in sweat already. <laughs> yeah, guys, I was listening to your podcast and uh, heard you were saying some things about me. You were you were doing an impression of me, and I noticed you know it was all fun and games until yeah, you it was started. Just, it's just it's all jokes, Aaron. And then I you know you made the joke about money and me caring about money, and then you made the joke about the gayness, and that really wasn't cool, guys. Uh, we didn't mean anything by it. It was just a joke. There was no, like, correlation. Yeah, but, you know, just... you're putting that out to potentially hundreds of thousands of people. Yeah, nobody's and... actually going to think that's true. We just fuck around on the podcast. And, and then you guys did this whole, you know, this really weird role play as me pulling you aside and telling you I didn't like those jokes. That was just a joke, Aaron. And, and you know, you just did this. You, you carried it on, and you or you said everything you're saying right now in this Hey, meeting. guys. Huh? <laughs> the door opens and it's Aaron. Yeah. Guys, I just got back from the future and I was listening to this and I had to stop it before it started. What the fuck is going- and all of a sudden, like, he crashes through the ceiling. Jesus Christ, st don't stop them! They have to make this podcast! <laughs> what happened? What would you do? I don't know. How I'd, would you react? I'd freak out and be like, <laughs> Imagine being trapped in a paradox like that, where you can't do anything. <laughs> What if, what if, you know, every choice you make has a ripple effect, the butterfly effect. What if by us doing this podcast on this topic, we create a paradox somehow? Uh, it's like Ashton Kutcher's butterfly effect. <sighs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> did you ever see that? I never did. No, of course I didn't see that. Does he that. die in the end? I, I don't know. I, I just said hey I didn't guys, see okay, it. Okay, you know, well, welcome. Hey, guys. Put on, put on some, like, game show music or okay. something. Hey, guys, what's up? Welcome to the part of the show where we spoil the butterfly effect starring Ashton Kutcher. Okay, so uh, as I look this up, uh, Matt, entertain the, uh, p uh, th them. Hey, guys, what's up? While my co-host looks up the uh, spoiler for today's episode of Spoiling the Butterfly Effect with popular actor Ashton Kutcher, I'm going to give you some Ashton Kutcher trivia that you might not know. Okay, ready? Did you know Ashton Kutcher was actually the son of a, a religious zealot who was, uh, he had a little bit of stock in Warner Brothers Studios, so he was he made a nice amount of money to buy his family a bigger house. That's some Ashton Kutcher triv trivia for you guys. Uh, couldn't be more excited to reveal the answer. I mean the uh, fuck the spoiler to today's episode. Uh, Ryan, Evan travels back to the birthday party where he first meets Kaylee and whispers to her, "I hate you, and if you ever come near me again, I'll kill you and your whole damn family." Kaylee runs away crying. Uh, 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 this, uh, after, a mon together. after a montage of his memories uh, disintegrating, Evan returns to present day in the dorm room with Lenny, and the two of them burn all of Evan's journals. Eight years pass. One day, Evan and Kaylee, Amy Smart, are walking down a street, going Wait, hold in up, opposite direction. When the they pass Ryan. each other, they seem to recognize each other for a second, but keep walking away. He chooses to never know someone because he fucks up the, some some lie. I I don't understand the ending. I didn't watch the movie. That's almost the exact same plot as your name. The your hit, name? Yeah, the the anime movie. But thanks anyway, guys, for uh, stopping by the the spoiler hut. Uh, uh, take it back, Matt and Ryan from the Super Mega Cast. Ah, uh, thanks, guys. Thanks, thank you so much. That was definitely uh, a very funny bit. So, yep. uh, thanks, I'm guys. I'm glad they committed to it. Yeah, they really did commit to it. Yeah, I don't think we'll, we're going to have them on again, though. I Definitely mean, not. Yeah. Speaking of uh, Your Name, that anime movie, I watched it on my flight. The one that they were talking about? Yeah, okay. it was fucking beautiful. Was it? Okay. It was so good. I like, need to see it. That's one. Of, I need to see that and the, the Red Turtle, I think it's called. The Red Turtle? Uh, I might be I might be stupid. Red. <laughs> yeah, you no, might. Yeah, it's called The Red Turtle. Looks like this. This is what the movie poster looks like. You never saw it? No, I haven't. A man is shipwrecked on a deserted island and encounters a red turtle, which changes his life. I thought it would sound right up your alley. You like, uh, like, deserted on an island shit. Came I do. Out. I love movies about being stranded and okay, shit. Do you want to watch that, though? Yeah, we should watch it. Is okay. it out? Uh, yeah, it came out in 2016. Oh, cool. We should check it out. But your name, uh, if you haven't seen it and, you know, you like Japanese stuff because you're a fucking nerd, you should go watch that movie. It's very emotional and it's very beautifully done. The art is insane. And, um, you know, it was awkward because I'm on this flight across the Pacific, so I got the TV screen in the back of the seat type yep. of deal. Uh, like, every seat has that. And I'm like, you know what, I got, a, like, a nine-hour flight. I'm going to watch some movies. 
So I start the infiltrator with Brian Cranston. Perfect. And I'm watching it. And then some titties come on the screen. What? Well, not Wait. they weren't like exposed titties, but it's a scene where Brian Cranston, uh, he's on, he's undercover, and the cartel people are like, "Hey, we got you a gift," and it's like a, a hot babe. So then it cuts to a like shot a, of like an escort. Yeah, like an escort, and and she's you know she's dancing for him, and she's she's not wearing really much clothing. Oh, and then shit. I realized I'm, I'm in the, I'm in a dark airplane cabin where everyone can look at my screen behind me. So I had to turn it off. So I put on this other movie. I'm like, you know, what? I'm gonna watch Your Name. So I start watching Your Name, and then. Uh, the the guy like the guy wakes up in the girl's body. That's not a spoiler. That's the plot of the movie. And first thing he does is he like feels her breasts and like looks in the mirror and like jiggles the breasts. And I'm just sitting there. Are, are they animated well? Though? They're animated very well. But so, I, like, do they look like? Do they? Yeah, like, they look like real. Are they breasts. real or are they fake? What's well, fake? Because it's anime. But no, are they natural? Yeah, they look. Yes, yeah, very natural. Okay, but you what know cu- uh, what? What? Uh, what cup? You think? Uh, we're Probably, talking? I'd say a B cup. Okay. I Sorry, mean, go on. Someone can analyze it and get, yeah, yeah, get her cup yeah, yeah, size. Yeah, but, yeah, go on. Um, I, don't, I don't care about that stuff. I was just asking because uh, I was just... Uh, just yeah, uh, but anyway, um, so just think about this image. You know, I'm, I'm just this white guy sitting on a plane. Does he play with her ass, though? And, he, and I'm watching this, this anime girl, like, jiggle her breasts and get all red in the face. And yeah. there's, like, a ton of Japanese people on the plane around me. I need to go to the restroom. I think I got a poo-poo, so it's going to take, like, a uh, quite a bit. So I'll be back in, like... Uh, 30, 30 minutes. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll just uh, do the rest of the podcast by myself, I guess. Okay, I'll be back. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, that was fast, well, man. Uh, yeah. That was like four minutes. Yeah. Uh, it's crazy. Um, Shit, really fast. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I was talking about uh, Your Name, the anime movie, where she was like feeling her breasts and everything. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and um, I don't know, it's just awkward, because just I, I guess the whole point of the story is it just looked funny that I'm just watching this anime kind of porn scene well, on That happens on a, a lot plane. on planes. Like, when you're when you're on a plane and, like, one of those scenes pops up, you, th- I, I automatically think that if people see me, they think that the reason I sat through <laughs> this hour and a half to two and a half hour movie is just to watch this scene. To, like, watch a hot scene and get horny on the airplane? <laughs> yeah, just for, like, <laughs> just for, like, le- like a two-minute period, if that. That's what it looks like. It looks like you you chose something <laughs> sexual in nature. Because if I look over at a guy watching a movie, and I see, like, hot sex on the screen, it's, it, your mind instantly goes, like, oh, he chose, why, why is you he You know he's that? thinking about the sex in that moment. Or do you think he's, like, just kind of, like, not making eye contact with anyone? Like, no, just go with it, commit. You're watching him. You're just a guy watching a movie. It's kind of like watching a, a sex scene with your movie. parents, you know? Yep. Except there's a lot more people around that you don't know, which God. almost makes it, you know, worse because you don't know them. So their their mind doesn't, they don't know you, so their mind is free to make a million assumptions. <laughs> oh, boy. There was uh, two scenes that scarred, like, not scarred me, but I was like, Ugh! it was the most just kind of like nerve-wracking situation when I was a kid. Uh, my, I'm going to go ahead and get it out of the way for both of us. The rape scene in Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, that was fucked up. But what, what were the movies up. you were thinking of? Um, well, I went to go see Tropic Thunder with my dad. And then, of course, the movie begins with a song oh. called I Love That Pussy. And, it, <laughs> and it's really loud and obnoxious. And, of course, I'm just sitting there in the theater like, OK. No, no, I saw that with my mom. Oh, God. Yeah. And so what I went to go see with my dad and my stepmom, they because I wasn't old enough yet, I don't think. Uh, we went to go see Watchmen. And there's a there's a very. Uh, it's a naked guy, right? Detailed. Well, there's that. His. Dick and balls were hanging out. I didn't mind that that much. That was that was what. Yeah, you didn't because you're a big fat homo. <laughs> yeah, that's me, Ryan the homo. Uh, call me at one eight hundred Ryan. Anyways, so it was just, there's a big sex scene in that, and it's like really, it's a really awkward sex scene. Leonard Cohen singing in the background. It's like this owl dude and this and this, Ma- this actress named Malin Ackerman or whatever however you pronounce it. They're having sex in this like owl spaceship thing. Nice. Sorry, it's like an owl. Hovercraft or whatever. Whoa, dude. I heard there was a secret chord that, that David played and it pleased the Lord. Is that the song that plays when they have sex? Yeah, and they have sex in like Zack Schneider slow motion. Ooh, damn. Do you see full penetration? Uh, no, but you see her titties. Whoa, and you see dude. his buttocks Did thrusting dad... inside of her, even though, you know, they're not really inside each other. How do they film sex scenes like so naked and close up and realistic? Patches. So they're pretty much just smashing their junk together. There's, with there's, like, their genitals are like still they, they probably still get that stinging sensation. But no, 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 every time you, every time you ask an actor, they're like, no, it's just the scene. It's, it's, the it's scene. about the scene. Yeah, well, what's his, what's his <laughs> face? Tommy Wiseau from the 
room had to, I remember he had to, apparently he had to tape his dick to his leg or something because he kept getting boners during the sex scene. <laughs> oh, God. So he had to tape his dick up? He, didn't he write the movie? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he like, wrote himself in all the sex scenes. <laughs> I know. You've seen that movie, right? No. The sex scenes go on for like 15 minutes. I've never seen the movie. There's several of them. I haven't seen The Room. I should. I hate that I haven't. I've I never seen like this cult thing. You know, like, I, I have never seen it from start to finish, but I've seen so much of it so many times here and there that I've pretty much seen it. Yeah. But... The sex, I, I've seen the first half fully, I and mean, the rest I've seen, you know, spots and pieces, of. yeah. But, dude, the sex scenes go on for so long. I think one of the first scenes in the movie, if I remember correctly, it was back in high school, but... Are there boobs? No. I don't what? think so. I don't think there are. Come on! I just remember, like, the sex scenes go on and on, and it's just music playing. It's like emotional R&B type. I could be misremembering this, but I just remember I it was... I see you winding and grinding... Up on that pole. No, that would have made it better, though. <laughs> I wish they played that during the sex scene. Hey, someone make an edit of that and send it to us on Twitter or some shit. Yeah, that would be excellent. Do it! Um, Put some funny edits in it, too. Yeah, maybe just make it funny. <laughs> make sure like you, you like do that liquefied video face thing that a lot of content, shit posters content do. Content-aware scale. Yeah, well, in the videos, like people like liquefy shit, and it looks goofy. It's like they put it... Not liquefy, but they put it through that... Uh, you know when photo booth on a I know what you're talking about. Yeah, they do that shit with the faces. They do it to a lot of like ghetto memes. Yeah, but do that with the room sex scene and put that song that I was that I was jamming out to, and then uh, tweet that at Ryan. Yeah. Yep, he's gonna have a good time. He's gonna he's gonna I'm gonna be in my room and I'm gonna hear you go. <laughs> I haven't done this in a while, but yeah. I'm I'm opening up the garage. I'm blowing the dust off the old Segway and I'm climbing on. Okay, here we go. God damn. <laughs> Some of the, some of the dust, kicked back into my throat. I'm sorry. Okay, it was the best segue we've ever done to a different conversation. You think so? Yeah, it was really good. Good job, dude. High five. Awesome. Did you go to prom when you were in high school? Twice, junior and senior. Same, prom. dude. Senior prom sucked. You know what I remember about prom, uh, of the senior variety was they got this guy named DJ Kyle, just this goofy white man oh, to I remember DJ this. the prom. Yep. DJ Kyle, and then uh, they sold too many tickets for capacity, <laughs> so just told people that already bought tickets, like, sorry, you can't come in. And then they told some people they had to leave because they were over capacity, and people were like, no, we paid, we're not leaving uh, Some people prom. did have to leave, though. Uh, they did, but people wouldn't leave, so DJ Kyle said... I'm not playing the music until you guys listen to uh, you're the administrators. Oh so then God. everyone left and got refunds. And really? It was like the worst prom ever, yeah. That's Damn. not why it sucked. I just had a terrible time personally. But There was a chocolate fountain at my senior prom. There was a bunch of fondue shit. They always got that fondue some shit Some cheese and crackers and some meats. Were you the guy at prom that just kind of stood by the snack table and would like nod your head to the music? No, I had a and... date both times. Nice! Uh... The senior year was with my girlfriend at the time. Junior year was with the same girl. But she wasn't your girlfriend at the time? No. Dude, nice. I know, right? That's pretty I cool. I really, I, I really went in there. You, you slid in. As the as teens these days would say, you slid right into her DMs. Yeah, and our, and our limo driver was awkward because since we were teenagers, you know, making out was the thing to do. Did you make out in the limo? <laughs> oh, yeah, but we tried to tell the limo driver because he had the window that you can see... Th- his thing, he, he was always like, he had it down. We were like, hey, could you uh put that up? He goes, nope, not doing that. I'm like, uh, okay. I get why, because, you know, he's a limo driver and you're high schoolers and he doesn't want two high schoolers fucking in his nice limo. Yeah, that's that's cool, but there's something creepier about him. Oh, he could have been Because we like, did anyways. We just, we, it was, you know. It was you fun. had sex in a limo? No, right? no, 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 no. I never had sex. I haven't either. I'm saving it for marriage still, so. Same. High five. High five, dude. Another nice. high five. But, uh... But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to... I just wanted to cut in there. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, junior prom was alright. Senior prom was cool. I mean, I had a good time at both of them. But senior year, I think all around, looking back, even though I didn't like high school when I was in it, I think looking back... I really enjoyed those times, like senior year, definitely. Definitely, same for me. Cherish yeah. high school, high school listeners, because you will look back at it, and it's like a, you know, like you, you won't miss like the hard shit you had to do, but yeah. you'll, you'll look back at like the kind of the, uh, the relationships you had, or not uh, like girlfriend boyfriend, but like the friendships and just the teachers and just the whole kind of 
just going to classes and seeing it's the, the same last phase of your childhood day. essentially because yeah. you kind of still are like when you live with your parents like it's the last phase of living with your parents and i know it sounds awesome like getting out from your parents but there's like a weird uh part of you that like we'll look back and be like oh man that was yeah. really nice no one brought any like uh no one brought uh tim heidecker to our prom unfortunately or any other celebs damn pe- the, the, you see you, you see those stories where people are like yeah they'll bring like kanye or <laughs> xxx to their prom or yeah. something also I'll, did kanye actually do that no not kanye who went to someone's <laughs> prom uh someone big cat williams <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I bet cat williams would go to anyone's prom He's so washed Get up. Get a DJ death. for y'all. He got he got a fight with a seventh grader. I was a voice on Boondocks. Remember when he got in the fight with the seventh grader <laughs> over a football Wasn't game? It like an eighth grader. So, he was a middle school. <laughs> I know. And then Cat Williams is just like sitting on the ground. And everyone's filming him. And he's like, man. And then he got up and walked away all angry. Like, of course, Didn't he, he get his ass prom. kicked by one of yeah, them. Yeah, he got his ass kicked yeah. by a middle schooler. <laughs> the funniest shit. Cat Williams. He doesn't like Quentin Tarantino. What's he doing with his life? He was a comedian. Now he's getting in fights with middle schoolers and getting his ass kicked. Hey, stop, ta- stop trash talking me, bae. I'd love to have Cat Williams on the podcast and make things right. I'd love to beat the shit out of that. Like, man. I'd love to put a spell on you so you'd have Cat Williams' voice. I'm just kidding, Cat Williams. If you listen to this, I don't actually want to beat the shit out of you in case you take that seriously. <laughs> and, and he's gonna come find you. Yeah, we're gonna get a knock on our door at like 3 a.m. and I'll be like, "What the fuck is that? Is that, is that apartment security?" I'll open the door and it's gonna be Cat Williams. <laughs> and he's gonna dive through the doorway and just stab a knife into my stomach. Then I'm gonna come running in with an ultra ball, throw it down, and an eighth grader is gonna appear. And kick Cat Williams' ass. <laughs> yep. And I will. Perfect. I'll make a speedy recovery. And uh, all's well that ends well. Yeah. But yeah, I do see that. You know that shit with like celebrities actually going to. Is that something like their agents like? Yeah, just just do this this once. It'll make you look like a good guy. Okay. I th- I feel like it's. What celebrity would willingly be like? I'll go to prom with this ninth grader. Yeah. Not me. I'm not saying I'm a celebrity, but I'm saying that like I've gotten those. Have you? You've gotten those, right? You, have you ever seen at least one person that's like, uh, Matt, will you get a prom with me? Because I've seen like a few of those. I think I've seen me. like one or two. Yeah. But I never know if they're serious or if it's just someone just uh, being a goofball. <laughs> Judging by some of those profile pictures, though, you can you can bet that some of them are serious. You, you've gotten those? Like <laughs> I've like, gotten like, I've seen like one or two. Would you, uh, would you ever do it, Ryan? No. Come on, Ryan. Okay, picture this, though, in your head. Picture, picture this... This fucking seventeen-year-old girl, in <laughs> like this, in a beautiful in, in, prom in, in a dress, bu- and in a heels. beautiful trom- trom- in a beautiful prom dress. She's walking in, and then here comes me in like a black t-shirt, gym shorts, flip-flops, and a bag of Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> like shaggy hair, and like your <laughs> yeah. hat's a little crooked. My, my hat's a little- <laughs> your beard's all messy. And just walk in. I got invited, uh, <laughs> so uh, I brought this. If you want to, like, just. Some wings. Yeah. And like in the limo right there, you're just eating messy <laughs> yeah. like all over your face. And I'm like looking like back and forth. I'm like, hey, y'all got any wet naps? <laughs> <laughs> you guys got wet wipes? It's like all in your facial hair. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. But, but they don't. So I just forget about it. And I and I just have wing sauce on around my mouth and on my fingertips for the rest of the night. You wipe. Like no when no one's looking, you like you casually wipe your hands on the upholstery of the limo. <laughs> like the nice white seats. <laughs> Or I mean, like during the dance, you get it all over her dress. <laughs> yeah, just like like Buffalo Wild Wings fingerprints all over yeah. her nice prom dress. Then like I'll just like you'll just see me at some point, just like off on the side, sitting on like some bleachers or some shit, just like like going at my fingers, just biting to get your the, fingernails, try, trying to get the sauce out from under my fingernails and shit. <laughs> you smell like cigarettes and you got dog hair all over. And you, you see me just ruffling. You see me ruffling through like the like the bag just to be like, did I? Did, are there any more wings that I accidentally dropped in there? Like, or, did I forget some mozzarella sticks? Hmm. Any ketchup packets I can suck dry? <laughs> I'm imagining that if you actually said yes, just because maybe like in this high school, maybe like a couple kids would know who you are from YouTube, maybe because they they would know YouTube, but then yeah. everyone else would be like. Who is this grown man coming to prom with, you know, Bethany? Like they'd think the- I was the shit, though. They'd be like, "Whoa, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't care." I'm kidding. They'd they'd think there was something wrong, and they'd have to call a police officer. An administrator, like a chaperone at the prom, would come up to you and be like, "Sir, are you uh, are you here to pick someone up?" No, hold on. I I got a ticket. I know what you're gonna say. I got a ticket though, so you can, you can you can bugger off. I'm here with Tiffany. As a chaperone at a prom, 
like if I was chaperoning my kid's prom and I saw you walk in with a 17 year old girl and a bag of Buffalo Wild Wings and you got sauce <laughs> caked around your lips <laughs> <laughs> and like as you're walking in you're, you're just like you're like taking the last drag off a cigarette and you drop it on the ground and you just walk in I smell <laughs> I smell of just like uh, damp cigarette and weed <laughs> you walk in and like hack your lungs up <laughs> <laughs> I, then, then I like jiggle the bag around to just kind of be like, I don't want to see this spit. I just wanted to shit you around. You spit in the Buffalo Wild Wings bag? <laughs> yeah. You take a cup and there's the punch bowl and you just dip the cup in the punch bowl. And... Put my hands in the punch bowl like with the cup. <laughs> like they dip, a, they accidentally dip a little there's bit There's like in. strings of chicken just floating in the punch bowl. <laughs> No, I'm imagining like you get a you get a bowl like you know they have a serving ladle for the the punch. <laughs> yeah, but instead you're just scooping it with a cup, but you drop your cup on the ground and spill it, and it's all wet and has some dirt on it from the ground. You pick it back up and scoop some more. Again. <laughs> Tiffany sitting in the punch bowl, <laughs> crying because her the the YouTube idol that she invited to prom was a disgusting mess of a human. Then with her inside, I'll frisbee her off a cliff into a, into the sunset, and then and then. She'll smile, a tear will run down her face, and then she'll go bing in the distance. And then I'll then I'll walk away coughing. And that's the end of Ryan's uh prom when he went to prom with a fan. Yep. So uh, if anyone is interested in, in that experience, uh it, it's only it's only hypothetical and will never be reality. You're telling me you don't want to take an underage girl to a dance? Nope. Come on, Ryan. That no, was fine. Oh, it's getting hot in here. It is or is it hot. just me? No, it's getting very hot in here. Okay. It's not just you. Okay. Just okay. making sure I might be. You were drenched in sweat. Are you okay? <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Just... Your face is pretty flushed. I need to wring my hair out. Ugh. Oh, God, dude. It looks more like olive oil than sweat. What the hell is going on with you? I don't know. Wait, wait. Sit forward a little bit. Man, the couch is... It's soaked. What? It's not even... No, oh, it's, it's, it's shiny. It's, that's just the material of the couch. No, it's like a glistening substance. What the fuck is that, man? I don't know. I think I'm stuck to the couch. What the fuck? Are you okay? No, I'm fine. Just, Ryan, do I need we, to call let's someone? Just finish the, let's just finish the podcast. Okay, sorry. You know what it's time for, Ryan? Blues Clues. No, not time for Blues Clues. It's time for this week's Ming Report. It's been a couple weeks since our loyal listeners have gotten a Ming Report and we got some... But some... it's also been a couple weeks since, she, you know, we've seen Ming, too. She's, 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 she's been, been away again. She went on vacation again. Yeah, and she, she probably went to the Caribbean. Probably, maybe maybe the Bahamas, maybe Mexico, maybe oh. Vietnam. Went to Atlantis, as in the uh, resort with the water slide where you go through the shark tank. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love that place. But, but just like she has done countless times in the past, Ming has disappeared and then... Reappeared into an existence, screaming and just as lovely as ever. She has a new outfit this time. She usually has her classic hoodie with the hood always pulled up. Mm -hmm. uh, gray sweats. Yep. And just shoes. I don't know what kind of shoes she just wears. Shoes. Just shoes. Just yeah. general shoes. But now she's she's uh, sporting a black tank top and some sh just shorts. Just yeah, big just baggy shorts. Just a big baggy shorts. And she's she's not yelling as much, but she she's is, not. She's doing some weird kind of like. Not kung fu, but some weird like. She's moving her arms all fluidly and like looking up in the sky. Her, she's going like down. She's like making an L shape, you know, because like her waist is bending and she's like doing all yes. this stuff, like an interpretive dance. Yeah, exactly. It looks yes. like an interpretive dance. Yep. But the screaming does happen every now and then. Like uh, I love when I can hear it very loudly. It you know, seven p.m. or three a.m. or six yep. a.m. You know, any time of the day really. She'll just start that up and. She's screaming and singing, and I, man, I love listening. I love it when it wakes me up, especially when I, you know, I have to go record and I need to get some rest and I hear her screaming. I think she knocked over poor Push Up's uh, cart. Why would she do that? I don't know. Push Up's was sleeping. Remember, we were driving, we saw Push Up sleeping, mm -hmm. and uh, his cart was fine, and she was out there moving around. But then I go out there, and she's gone, but his car cart is uh, pushed over, and stuff spilled out of it. <sighs> Man. And I don't, and no regular person like walking by would go and just fucking push over his car. A car didn't hit his cart, you know, because it's usually, it's off to the side. It's always off to the side. Remember she pushed, uh, <laughs> remember when she kicked up all that landscaping? Like yep. everywhere. She yeah. she just went along this like. She was digging. 
yeah, there was some like stone landscaping, and she went by and kicked all of it up into the street. So, but she's back. God knows how long it's gonna be until she disappears again. And I know why she's wearing the new clothes. She's sporting her summer look, her summer attire. <laughs> it's the it's the Ming summer collection from uh from Coles. <laughs> Pick from, it up today. <laughs> the Ming. <laughs> Uh, we walked by her on the sidewalk, and she was, like, sticking her head out at us and just smiling, like a creepy clown smile, and she, and she started saying stuff, and we just kept walking. She, yep. It looks like she dabbed, though, too. She did. She did dab. So I, guess I have she's, video proof of her dabbing. Yeah, I think, I think she's been on the internet, dude. She must be watching Super Mega. Uh-oh. Not, not much else new on Ming. That's pretty much it. Nothing that exciting has happened with her other than the fact that she's back, which means next week there will probably be another Ming report. Odds are, uh, most likely. So be on the lookout for that. She might kill my dog and throw him against a wall twenty times. <laughs> and you're just standing there with your hands on your head, going, "Oh no! no stop that! Stop! Oh, come on, Ming. That's, again? Oh. What? Was it the first thirteen times oh. enough, Ming? Not come on. Lego. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, oh, Lego. Oh man, he's gonna be dead after this. Oh Lord, have mercy. And she's just, dum, dum, <laughs> dum. God damn it! Dude, she's like Eustace, but is a black woman. <laughs> yep, exactly. Yep. <laughs> what would happen realistically? <clears throat> mm -hmm. We took Banana outside, my cat, and we just hand him to Ming. What's gonna happen? She'd bite his head off. Do you think? No, like realistically, what do you think she would do? I, I'm. I, she'd take a bite out of him. Or she'd, she'd take a bite out of him. Or she'd like b break his arms and then throw him up in the air. I think she'd start screaming like, what do I do with this? Like and start shaking him around or something maybe. She'd only hold him by the scruff and start like flinging him around, you know, just like as she's like trying to, like, what am I supposed to do with this cat? And he's going to be like bobbing and shit. He's, he'd probably, uh, she'd probably try to ride him. She's, he's he's going to tear the shit out of her though. Oh, dude, he would rip her to shreds. Imagine yeah. Ming versus the... Imagine Ming versus Banana. I, uh, oof, I That's a pay-per-view fight I would see. Okay. I would pay for and view. Uh, if y'all want to see that, uh, leave a comment down below. We'll set it up. And uh, leave down who you think would win, Ming or Banana. Yeah, that's that's a tricky one. I, yeah. I honestly don't know. Weren't you outside once and Ming threw a bottle cap and hit you in the head? Yeah, I was hanging out with other people in the, you know, there's, there's more than just her in the alleyway sometimes. There's other homeless people. And I, and I like them a lot because they... Down they, to earth people. They're down to earth. They they have good conversation, and I actually I legitimately like having conversation with them because they're cool people. <clears throat> Anyways, so I was just having a conversation with them, and interesting enough, uh, one of the people was like her brother. Yeah, Ming's brother. Yeah. So, uh, but she just had a bottle cap and she threw it up in the air. And then I just I looked up and I'm like, that's coming towards me. And then it just hit me and fell back. And her brother just looked at her and was like. The fuck do you do shit like that? But yeah, that's Ming, guys. That's that's this week's Ming report. Um, you know, she, you love her. She's doing great. She's doing great. We'll update you next week with uh, whatever Ming antics we got going. And since you guys have listened this far into the podcast, let's throw you a few bones. Okay. For instance, a series that we are starting to record soon, it won't be out for a while, is a Pokemon game. Ooh. We're not saying which one. We're not saying what we're playing, but we are going to start a Pokemon game. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those just kind of like uh, slow burning series, or maybe in the beginning it's probably gonna be pretty quick. And seeing how much people like it will depend to uh, maybe how fast we'll keep going through yep. it. But it's gonna be one of those things that could go on for a really long time, and it'll just be like oh, every now and then uh, we'll throw some episodes up. We also have been talking with certain people, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you will be. You know what, Matt? What? You, you announced this one. Okay. You know where I'm going with okay. it. <clears> okay. <throat> uh, something that you guys have been asking for for a really long time. Uh, we we finally uh, got it through our our, our, our hard heads. Mm -hmm. uh, we listened. Um, we've got some stuff coming soon um, that's not on YouTube. It's something else. Maybe something that you can wear or put on your walls. Rhymes with perch. Yeah, might as well just announce it. Yeah. Yeah, we actually uh, have merch in the works right now. And it's, it's not just talking like, hey, we got merch coming soon. With there, no. there are artists legitimately working on designs or have made designs already. We have actually had meetings with, you know, people to actually get it in production. So it we're, is. It we're, is in the, we're in the final stages. It still might take maybe a month, depending on how quickly things move. But that is we have made three four. We're, we are three fourths of the way to having stuff ready. So Super Mega Merch is finally actually a thing that's going to be on the way. 
Um, so, I mean, even in the comments, if you have ideas for what you would want to see as merch, uh, let us know because we we always read the comments and we're always open to feedback and criticism, yeah. and whatever. So more information about merch coming uh, later uh, within the next month. So just keep your eyes peeled for that. Also, we have been thinking about the podcast placement on the schedule. And don't worry, it's not going anywhere, but we are thinking about changing things, uh, some things up. Uh, we are toying with the idea of possibly releasing the podcast instead of Thursday on a Saturday. If that works better for you, uh, tell us in the comment section below. Or if you like uh, the current state of things, the current time and everything of the podcast, uh, let us know. Uh, we're just trying to see what day would be better for you guys. Uh, what day you would rather have the podcast, I guess. Um, so, uh, positive or negative feelings about that? Leave, uh, leave it in. Know. Leave below. We want to hear some feedback because we, we want to, you know, we want to run uh, our ship to uh, our viewers' satisfaction to what to what to what you you folks like. So uh, just just let us know whatever feedback you got, and just in general, any uh, anything on the channel recently or currently that you know you want to give any form of feedback on positive or negative uh we'd love to hear it uh to make our channel better and get you guys to like it more so because we're as we continue to make the content we want to make and like making we also want you guys to i guess have the easiest access you can to that content um, yeah and to and to enjoy it the most you can so any ideas or feedback or suggestions, we're always open to hear that. So yeah, We're just, always uh, just working on the channel, trying to just, even if they're just small little changes. Yeah, and also, uh, you know, it's been the past month or so, uh, it's been a lot of, you know, ep consistent days of just kind of one series. Like a lot of days of Mario yeah. Kart straight in a row, or a lot of days of uh, Wheel of Katamari straight in a row. So, <clears throat> oh, God! Nice. Uh, so, we just want to let you guys know that. Doing that is kind of we've been very busy, and we always say this, but we really have been because we've been the, going out of town. Yeah, but we we honestly do have a lot more variety coming up, so we're excited for that. So we have get excited. Yeah, give us this month again. I know we said that the past few months, but this is the last month where we are both uh, going out of town. Yeah, July yeah. is uh, we're both going to be going out of town during July, and after that, we're going to be back until the holiday season. So just um, just. You know, a lot more busyness going on there, but July is the month where we're going to start hopefully putting out new series and, you know, finalizing stuff with merch and stuff like that. Yeah, and, uh, you know, we still actually do have some live action stuff on the way that has already been filmed, and we're going to try to do more regular P.O. Box videos because uh, we went three months without one. It's been like three months in between the yeah. recent ones, so we don't like doing that, so... Uh, send us uh, stuff to our P.O. Box for us to open up on camera. Uh, it'll Link be down is, in the description, yeah. Yep. Um, but anyway, guys... Uh, I guess that's pretty much all we got to say for this episode. Um, thank you so much Speak for listening. Speak for yourself, Matt. I'm sorry, Ryan. Go ahead. Hey, guys. Uh, I just wanted to talk about...